Hey, hey, folks. Here's a free taste of the Tuesdays with Stories Patreon right here for free. Sign up today. On the Patreon, I don't know if you know, but we do a documentary series called Hot Gay Sets. That's where Chuck and a camera guy will follow us all behind the scenes, get all that sexy undercover stuff. We're going to be releasing one of the hot gay sets on old Marky Boy's YouTube. Just yes. to give you a taste. Just to give you a taste to see what's going on over there. It's really something. And once you see it, you're going to want to be on there. Oh, and yeah. And you can get on in the next couple days for three bucks a month. After that, it's going up to five, seven, ten. This is fluff. I haven't started flossing, so this isn't as gross That's as not you bad. said. not <laughs> bad. But uh, I did floss one spot. Ah, but, I can see the nugget on there. Anyways, no, I flicked it off onto Chuck's forehead. But yeah, um, we'll give you the full video of, uh, I believe it's me doing the Netflix half hour. Chuck D got behind the scenes and then <laughs> edited some, some magic. So check it out. And that's just a taste of what you're going to get if you sign up. Get in before the new year because you'll be grandfathered in at $3 with all the gold and the goodies and the extras and the queefs. You're going to love it. We really beefed it up. Chuck's on the ones and twos really adding all kinds of hoopla. Tell them what they're in for on the Patreon. Right now we have over 280 episodes of exclusive audio podcasts on the Tuesdays with Stories Patreon over the years and over a hundred exclusive video episodes Woo! that have come out because the Patreon has been going for years weekly every week we do a bonus episode so uh, that's how much is on there now it's days and days and days of content hell yeah you're missing out if you're not on it best Patreon in the biz thank you Chuck we'll see you all in hell happy haul Guy's always here, uh, really ups the anxiety, this guy. You know, like, you're killing me, man. Netflix is nice. They're nice once they, once they say yes. I've been bugging them for years and they said, you know, kick rocks, you dickless queef. But now that I'm doing a show, they're nice. And it's weird, they go, thank you for doing this. Like, what do you mean, thank you? I've been trying to get on your radar since 88, you cuts. We are... Getting on the A train, going to Times Square, probably the worst subway station in the planet. And then uh, we're gonna get out, go to 47th Street, go to Edison Ballroom. I'm a little late, but uh, they're not gonna start without us, I'll tell you that. Hey, come on, appreciate it. Comedy. Hey, big demographic. A lot of different races on board with the comedy. I mean, I've been doing comedy 15 years now. Eight Conans, four Tonight Shows, Colbert, Corden, Comedy Central, you name it, YouTube. It's all the same shit, you know? You, you put it up on a pedestal, it's like a hot lady. It's all gash at the end of the day, so I'm just gonna go up, do it. If they hate it, I'll get back on the midnight train to Georgia. Where am I going, you know? I'll be doing comedy forever. Here, let's get this one. A little room here. It is a little annoying because it's it's super COVID protocol -y. I got tested four times just for herpes and uh, the whole thing 
it's all silly and it, it's all production-y. Yeah. And when you shoot your own YouTube thing, you realize how little of that you need and how easy it is to shoot stuff and how quick it is and how cheap it is. And they just make a big hubbub. They got eight guys carrying wires. Oh man, a wire. Watch out for that extension. Oh man, we gotta get a guy who trained for 30 years. He worked on Gone with the Wind. We gotta, he's gotta hold that court. So we'll see what happens, but I uh, think you just gotta bang out the set. It's all you can do. It's all I know how to do. It'll be fun. And we get two shots at it. You know, I'm a big late night guy. You get one shot, five minutes. It's basically live. This is two. So the two shotter, I feel like is a big game changer. We got about six minutes before we're late, so I'm gonna bang out a pull up on this uh, scaffolding over here. So it's already embarrassing doing pull ups in New York in public, but now the camera's on. So people think we're some kind of influencer, cum guzzler. Probably should have put a comb through my hair for Netflix. A little tourism for you. This is Birdland. This is Miles Davis's club. Eight, uh, 1949. You gotta love that. Can I get it over with? Hey! One, two, three. Ah. Getting all sweaty before the show. Great idea. Can't believe those kids didn't wedgie me or steal my wallet. The youth. Oh. All right, let's do it. All right, we're going to 47. So we got three blocks. And large tits on purple. Where are you at in your life with the uh, looking at women? Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. It's, I love it. I, I can't. What are you going to do? It's I can't. It is built in. Literally, it's biological. By the way, just you know, I'm kind of not asking you about this right now. Oh, oh, you can ask. You can ask. Well, I mean, it's still two hours away. Well, yeah, two hours away. I know, but I don't want to... Well, get it out now, and then we'll be done with it. Well, but I appreciate it. Is this how you've always been with, like, the step? Have you always tried to push it out of your head and said, go do no, it? No, no. Well, you always want to push it out, but it, I, I used to, and it was impossible. I couldn't get it out. I couldn't stop thinking about it. Yeah. So... With, like, nervousness? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And then when you think you're not worried about it, you get in the, the green room you, and it just, yes. you get flooded with it because you're in there now. Yeah. And I will get there, don't get, don't get me wrong. But right now, it's like, what's the point of worrying about it? It's not even here yet. Yeah. Right. But that's all shit I had to learn from doing all these TV things. Yeah. I've had the times where it just turns off, it melts away and you're like, fuck it. It's kind of like bungee jumping or waterfall or, you ever skydive? No. No, I'm too scared. You know when you're at the top of a water slide? I'm scared of water slides. I'm scared of roller coasters. Yeah, yeah. But once you're in it, yeah. it's not that bad. Like, like you're staring at the water slide. You're going, look at that. It's just a straight drop. Oh my God. And you're freaking out. And then you get some weird feeling. You go, ah, fuck it. And you just do it. Yeah. That's what it feels like. It. Yeah, because you have to. There's a line behind you. The, the tape's rolling. Yep. You can't just bail. It's almost like physicality of doing it. Yes, yes. So when did you change? When were you able to kind of take more control of it and push it away more? Uh, I guess, uh, I guess what helped was, because you got to remember, the industry was everything before. It was like, this Tonight Show, this might break me, this might break my whole career, here we go, this is it. Yeah. And then you realize, oh, you don't need these guys. I got a YouTube special with seven million views. Yeah. I did it all on my own. We're taking a right here. So once I realized I don't really need them, now I'm on a tightrope with a net. So once you have the net there, you're actually a better tightrope walker because you know about the net. Yeah. If you don't know about the net, you go, ah! Wow. Does that make sense? You said you, you, you built your own castle. Yeah, so I got a fallback plan already. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe this is even a fallback plan because yeah. I could always make another YouTube. Yeah. And now we actually have some YouTube clout, if you, if you'll, if you'll. Well, plus you have a successful podcast. Yes. Another podcast, another Patreon. All these yeah. You go and buy yourself that you built with your own hands. Exactly. So that took a big, big weight off of all this shit. This used to be the be all end all. 
Now it's just another option. What do you bring it to the table tonight? We're doing a half an hour. Yeah, yeah. So what's, the, what's kind of the plan? That's of a good question. Uh, well, I've got about an hour, 45, 50 minutes of material that's cooking. Right. So A, when it's a half hour, you can just pick the cream of the crop, just the prime beef right out of that buffet. Yes. And then B, uh, I'm giving them the darkest, most me, you gotta be you. I used to be, you know, oh, let me tiptoe. What is the people gonna like? What are, yeah. What's family friendly? What's the most mainstream, the most accessible? How can I get the most people? Yeah. Fuck it. I'm done with that shit. I'm going all in. Yeah. I'm walking into a party where I don't know anybody and I'm going, hey, you queefs, this is it. And hopefully it works out. That's what I wanted to hear. That's uh, exactly what I'm all right, to hear. all right, great. This is us. Here we are, Edison Ballroom. Don't worry, comedian, comedian. All right, he's with me. It's my dad. Hey, hey, Comet, you coming? Yes, sir. All right, it's going to be a hot show. Please laugh, I need you. I got you. All right. He's with me, he's on the okay. list. Well, Thank you, man. Good to be back. All right. Time to see. Hey, hey you? what's up, man? Oh, you look you. nice. Hey, right I swear he's on the list. Don't worry about Chuck, this is Chuck. Welcome, Mark. Hey, good to be back. How's your day? Good, man. Good, good. I'm a little hungover, and I'm on Molly. No, I'm joking. That's awesome. This is my dad. As long as you show up. Yeah, I'm here. So this is, the, this is it. Okay. You got a real uh, 1930s orgy, supper club, you know, what do you call it? Uh, Eyes Wide Shut, Howard Hughes. Oh, sorry. I'm humping things. Oh, I got to go to wardrobe and all that shit. So, yeah, do you want to do a sound check first? Sure. All right. I always got to make it more complicated. Great Avril Lavigne song. I think that was Avril Lavigne. Why you gotta be so cool? Was that Avril Lavigne? No, maybe not. Who was that? You know the song, when you get complicated and you say, ah. Now I wanted to add a, a, a bullet if I could. Yes, where? Okay, right here. Stop it. Right in that spot right there for the prompter. Could you put white guy, Jew, and then racist. That's it. That's not perfect. Those are one line each, so they won't take much time. So your entrance is from the kitchen. I'll be with you to give you a cue. Okay. Is that right? I thought I was three. I'm number one. Ah, what about the first show? First show, you're number one. I'm number one on both? First show, you're number one. Second show, you're number two. Yes, number best three. spot. Number three. Ah, I got the two worst spots. Oh, come on. Who did the lineup? You screwed me. Yeah, man. Worked on your, uh, your one hour at the church. Uh, oh, yeah, the, 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 the synagogue. Yeah, it was so fun, man. Hey, thanks, thanks. Good, thanks. To, Good to see you. I'm, I'm going dark. So buckle up. All right, let's do it. Holocaust isn't real, trans, BLM. Let's go for it. They approved it. Wow, that's awesome. I couldn't believe it. Okay, for a stage, please stand by. And Alvin, are you ready? Please give it up for New Orleans' own Mark Norman. Hey, hey, is that cool? All right, still the wrong music, but I'll take it. The Holocaust isn't real. Thank you. Probably gonna wardrobe hair. All right. Hey. Oh, hey, there she is. What's going on? No COVID, everybody. She's clean. How you feeling on that red eye? Oh, great. Oh, that helps. Wow, you're on an hour right now? Oh, what a, what a trooper. He's an animal. Horrible in bed. All right. 
<laughs> all right. So we're going up to the 21st floor. That's where all wardrobe and makeup, all well, that's just across the hall. Right? What do you want to do first? Do you want to get in order or do you want to do powder? Uh, I guess the hair. Get it over with. I don't know if you heard, but Brian said he wanted to change uh, lineups. So, whatever you guys think there. Hey, long time no His call, I don't know, you know. Hey, what's shaking, folks? Oh, wow, thank you. What is this? 12 years sober down the drain. Oh, uh, thank you, oh boy. All right, thank you. Okay, let's go blackface. Why the hell not? I grew up in a black neighborhood. I went to public school. I've uh, had a lot of cocoa butter on my fingers. Where'd you grow up, actually? New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, you don't have an accent at all. All right, I, I'll take it. I hate the southern accent. No offense. No offense taken. I'm a New York. Oh, yeah? yeah? Queens? No, I was born in Westchester. Ah, well, I'm a Westchester Jew. Oh, <laughs> hey, the best kind. Hey, hey. Good, good. Man, that's what you want to see with wardrobe. I like a needle and thread. That is good stuff. That's real wardrobe. That's so funny. Yeah. Everybody likes a needle and thread or the sewing machine. Yeah. Otherwise, we're just playing dress up. This is pro stuff right here. Wow, you really clean it up nicely. It was all full of cat hair and pubes when I left it. So I appreciate it. Yeah. That feels dangerous. A piece of wood on a. Is that normal? I think that's part of it. No, that's sage. Oh. He's so bad. Oh, no, there's voodoo shit. I don't think it exists. What, voodoo? No, no. No, nor does God. Or COVID. No, right? You know what I hate it when comics do that. What? When it's like, it's like, it's like, you, we see each other every night at the same spots, grinding it out, and then, and then you get successful, and they go, you know, you know, there's a lot of lazy motherfuckers out here. Nah. <laughs> that's not it. Well, I will say though, you could see the same guy for ten years doing the same act. You're trying oh, new stuff. Oh, right, right. That's 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 the kind of lazy. Yeah, right? yeah. Or and some people are like have more hustle than others. Yes, yes. But that isn't the main determiner. It's like oh, there is there's luck involved. Oh, of course, you know, of there's, course. There's chance. To me, it's like the hard work is what is so when you get your chance, it pays off. Right, right. But you don't have any control over the opportunities you get or what you stumble with. I mean, how many things have you gotten where you're like, dude, if I had left five minutes oh, earlier, dude. Right? I did a, I, Seinfeld saw me and I almost skipped that spot, but it was just luck. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And it's like, not I know, open for it. My thing is, if you're a comedian, I'll defend anything you say on stage. Yeah. Whatever you said, I got you. If you did the shit, you, sure. gotta, you gotta wear that. If you did something, of course. that's on you. I don't have to defend you because you're a comedian. It's right. like, like, like you, ran, you ran over a family because you were driving drunk, that's on you. Yeah, yeah. Don't ask me about it. What do you think about Mark Norman running over? Killed the motherfucker, I don't know. <laughs> but I was joking when I was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you thought it was hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want from me? Yeah. <laughs> no, but some people are just, they think they can, and, and, and the truth is you can't. Every time you try to cancel somebody, you just make them stronger. You think so? Unless they actually did something. Yeah, but, but, but I was like in- Like Cliff. Okay, I'm not, right. Like, I'm not gonna say where I was, but a booker was, walked up to me and was like, we're trying to bond on you. are really funny, blah, blah, blah. And I was just talking about how, because I, I, I just come from Austin. Mm -hmm. And we, and Hinchcliffe came up and she was like, yeah, so he's, uh, yeah, he's really hurting or whatever. And I was like, no, he's thriving. Right. And and. She was very like shocked by that. And I'm like, yeah, he's doing better than ever. Like he's not posting on the internet. Right, right. But it's like if you try to cancel somebody for what they said, their fans are just going to double down. Yeah, their fans will for sure. Yeah. But Shane Gillis, people forget this part. They go, he's doing better without SNL. It's like, how do you know? Maybe he wanted that. Maybe oh, that was his right. dream. And not to mention the money and. Eight million people called the guy a racist. He's like, I was depressed, I couldn't sleep, I was laying in bed at night going, am I a racist? What am I doing? He's like, no, I mean, just, so that's the part people, I hate when people go, he's fine. He's like, you don't know how he's feeling. He could be miserable. No, I mean, you got a point there. But and yeah. the irony is like, he's, you meet him and you're like, oh man, he's like this big kind of oafy white guy. And then you meet him, you're like, oh, you're so sweet, you're so nice, you're insecure, you're cute, you're nice. And then you meet these, People who are like doing justice, and I'm like, oh my god, I'm terrified. You're scary. You're gonna ruin my life. Like, you're the good guy. What the fuck? It's a pendulum. Like, the, I think the you're culture, right. it goes right. swinging both. Because in, in like yeah, ten years, it's gonna be way out of control the other way. 
You think so? Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it always goes back and forth. Back it and does, forth. Like, yeah. remember the, yeah. you know, the, it's yeah. like the, the fucking, yeah. the, the Great Depression? Yeah. And then, and then after that, what was yeah. like, what was it? The, no, it was, it was the, the Roaring Twenties. The Roaring Twenties, the, the Great, great Depression. Depression. And then the Greatest Generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then in the, the 50s, and right. The, and then that prim proper shit. Yeah, yeah. The and then 60s was like, was fuck everybody, do drugs. Yeah, what's like, And then the 80s was like, Oh no, oh, no. cut a foul in the park, yeah. steal your children, everyone, yeah. calm down, yes. ban video games right. in the 90s. Uh, Actually, no, I'm not sugar free. Hey, 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 Rick. For the record, right. Avril Lavigne, you were correct. I wanted to yell it, but it didn't seem like the right room to the yell it. The Asian gal shot me down. She was like, nah, it's not Avril Lavigne. Yeah, I saw you get a lot of, I think we're probably around the same age. Yes. I was like, I think he's right. Double checked. Yeah, you're right. She was kind of hot. I let it slide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got the worst two spots, literally, the worst spots. It starts at 10, which means 10.30. They see a warm-up, a half hour, another half hour, so that's an hour plus a warm-up, then me! At night, on a school night, so it'll be like midnight by then. They're gonna be fucking done! Month ago, a couple months ago, it was a Saturday, remember? <laughs> Everybody got the repost around the same time from like Joe Biden's IG. <laughs> like, CDC says if you got the vaccine, no mask. Like, what? <laughs> a comedy show is standard hour and a half max, and this will be past that. So I'm gonna have to really hump that stool. But hey, I'm here. I'm queer. We're getting some good footage. He's got COVID, and uh, we'll see what happens. From New Orleans, everybody, please put your hands together right now for Mr. Mark Showbiz, yeah, real COVID crazy. First show went well. I made fun of the Jews. I made fun of trans. I made fun oh, of the yeah. black. I made fun of the, uh, <laughs> the Native Americans. You name it. I like to include everybody. I'm very inclusive with my hatred. Yeah. And uh, great time. Good time. I felt good about it. I wasn't. I was so not nervous that it made me nervous. Does that make sense? Uh, so yeah, fun. We're in the kitchen. I feel comfortable. We're not getting yelled at by a weird stagehand. These stagehands are the cuts of the year out here. Oh, yeah. Uh, Chuck got yelled at, but uh, we're here. We got one more show. This is the sweet spot. One in the can. I feel like we got the bass. We got all the jokes down. We got the laughs. And now I'm going to really get loose. A lot of N-word, a lot of anal, a lot of feces. So you're, so you're really pleased with the first set? I'm, uh, I can always find something. I forgot a joke. So I hate myself for that because I had to go end the set and then go, hey everybody, I forgot a joke, it's TV magic, we're gonna edit it in, I hate myself, uh -huh. these aren't real, whatever. So yeah. how did you feel about the audience? I thought the audience was good. I mean also, you gotta remember, there's a warm-up guy, he's cute and likable and very surface level -y, I guess you'd say. Good funny guy, but you know, he's not really digging in. Then I come in here with some trans stuff and some BLM stuff and all that so you know it's uh it's a lot for the system yeah but I think they hung in there oh yeah I can see a few people like <laughs> but that was just my aunt she sucks anyway uh so you know other than that I feel like it went pretty well so we're gonna steal the silver <laughs> and uh call it a night one more show oh that guy's good Ready? Mark, 
to see if there's any pickups. Hold on, we got a mask here. Any pickups for Mark? Ah, uh, the clothes are got nothing. Maybe I should end on eating ass. Let me get a whiz in. Okay, go for it. Get all that on tape. Yep. Come on. What time is it right now? Three, three, oh, twenty. God. That's what I like. Hold on. That's it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Hey, everybody. Strong stream. We did it. Two shows. We oh, got, yeah. We got real wacky on the second show. Chuck got kicked out. Hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I touched someone. We hit a bar after. We had a lot of whiskey. Ubered home. Had a great ride. We hit a lot of green lights. Yes. That's what life's about. Hitting those green lights. Opening doors. Ooh, metaphor. Exactly. Metaphor for tonight. Let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk about it. Uh, the show or the metaphor? The se second show. I felt like the first show we got it tight and we got it in the can, and the second show felt I felt more myself. Yeah. Because you know, these tapings, you can't really be you. You gotta really kill and all that. But they were everybody was super cool and. Uh, I think I think we got a, something good in the can there. I Hell think yeah. when that goes out in the world, people will resonate, or it'll resonate with people, and they'll be on board. Hell yeah! I've been drinking, so uh, I'm happy with it. I think we got a lot of good jokes on that. Good batch of jokes. In terms of me knowing your material and the stuff that you've done, this was like a highlight reel. That's what wow. this felt like. This felt like a highlight reel, which is the right way to go for this. It is because I feel like I mean we we've, we've all watched television and what is streaming. Mm -hmm. You know how the ADD and the attention span of these Jews out there. You gotta be quick. You gotta go bam, 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 bam. Well, they turn it off especially yes. in the first two minutes. So I try to bang it out succinct, mm -hmm. efficient. Get a lot yes. of uh, bang for your buck. So because you cover so many topics so quick with just joke, 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 joke. Right. And this is you got to think. I mean, I have to imagine that the way you look at this is like, here's all my stuff. Here's all my takes. Yeah. The cat knocked over a cactus. Ah, oh, jeez. People are gonna respond. And what did you what did you say? <laughs> I said it was your highlight reel. Oh yeah, that was it. My my point was. I do, you know, you do an hour on the road, you do 50 minutes uh -huh. on the road, whatever. Yeah. So when they go, you're doing a half hour, you get to just cherry pick all the highlights uh -huh. and the A plus and the singers yes. and the killers and the closers. Yeah. And you just get to throw it in there. So that's the beauty of it. Everybody's like, a half hour, what they should be doing an hour? I'm like, ah, this is like all oh. the good fat, all the good yeah. meat, all the good, good parts of the buffalo, whatever the hell it is. Yeah, filled a bunch of dirt. Yes. This 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 is showbiz, you know. You you have a nice moment. You have a Scotch whiskey that's ten years old, like, and you have a ten year old boy, and you go home and you're scraping up cactus dirt. This is the real, real shit, folks. I love it, buddy. You did so good. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. Joke density is a is a thing I try to. Stand on, or what do you stand behind, or yeah. be known for, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. And stand I don't for. Like silence. Stand for. There you go, buddy. Stand by metaphor. Hell yeah. Five. There you go. Cat hates that ribbon. Comedy. That was a lot of heroin. Just scaring the family. Oh, heroin. So much heroin.